Hey guys, quick video for you here today on how I resolved error code 110 on my Navian hot water on demand system. I showered this morning, there was lots of hot water and it was functioning as expected. And then a few hours later, I turned on the kitchen faucet, the water was slightly warm and then it went cold. I made my way downstairs to the unit and I saw E110 and then the wrench or service symbol. So I looked that up and basically what that means, there's a air pressure issue. So the air cannot exhaust properly to the outside or it cannot suck enough air into the system. So since it's minus 30 degrees Celsius out or minus 22 Fahrenheit, there could be an ice or a snow issue outside. So let's start out there. Okay, so here we are. This is the hot water uh, exhaust here and this is the intake. So, That seems fine, just a little icicle, but that wouldn't cause a problem. Let's look up in here. That one there also seems fine. Now what can happen, you can get these icicles like that there, which will slowly drip off of the exhaust and could accumulate right here on the, uh, the installation and then block the exhaust. Or you could also just get a lot of snow up against the side of the building here and uh, it won't be able to vent properly. So obviously no issue there. The next step is to check the internal air intake filter. And uh, to do that, we're gonna to need to power down the unit and remove the cover. So let's get that power down by pressing the power button and I'm going to unplug it just for safety. And to pop off the cover, just uh, flick these little tabs here and then the uh, cover will come right off. The filter I'm referring to is like a dryer filter and it's located here in the upper left hand corner of the unit. There's a small handle on the filter and a screw keeping it in place. Let's remove that screw. And be careful not to drop the screw into the unit because it's a maze inside of here and searching for that missing screw will be no fun. Now that I got the screw out, let's slide out the filter and bring that up to the bathroom for cleaning. Yeah, this is probably the issue here. Check this out. Check how much grass and dirt is in here. My air intake is about three feet off the ground and any grass or dirt that passes by is going to get sucked into it. So let's get this cleaned out. So I'm basically just going to use some soap and water and this is what it looks like afterwards. Let's use the nice towel to get it dried off and take it back downstairs to get it reinstalled. Put the filter in place, put the screw in, and now we'll put the cover back on and power it back up. Let's test it out by turning on a faucet. Hey, it senses the water movement, it's heating up, perfect. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.